اوكي موجودين خلينا نشغل الكاميرا Yes, got it. Good afternoon. Are we all ready? Let's close the door. On to you to Jadam Jadam. Okay. I'm going to get up. My camera will be off. Shwaya. I'm going to get up and you, you, I'll use the screen. Once I turn off the screen, I'll use the camera. Okay. 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 Sarah, can I get the new one? Why am I? Uh, uh, are they? Yeah. Uh, are they people on YouTube? Uh, Amar. So I'm hearing myself two minutes later here. I'm this? You know, whatever you're saying, I'm gonna show on the screen two minutes later. So can we mute the screen? <laughs> And I'll unmute it when I ask more questions. Because we shouldn't. <clears throat> no, I'm okay. If you guys hear me, if I'm like, yeah, they hear me. Sure. Okay, we're good, huh? Okay, thank you. Okay. Wow, that's much better, huh? Okay. <laughs> okay, hello. 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 <laughs> okay, uh, Sarah, come here. I'm going to show you the camera. So I'm going to just do this. Okay, we're good. Ready to start? Close the door. Okay, welcome everybody to the Google Analytics Workshop. Has anybody used Google Analytics before? Has anybody, literally online, if you use it, do this. Okay. Um, anybody downloaded the Flooded app? One, two. Three, four, nice, so four already. Five, montad. Lerba, hello, la baikha. Not close. Not close, huh? Tama? Hello, Lerba, huh? Sorry. Sorry? Come on. Okay, so I guess uh, we have a mixed opinion about the game, but guess what? This game is going to be the subject which you're going to analyze. I'm going to have a couple of them. Hey, Allah. <laughs> okay. So the flooded game, the actual game is going to be the whole project. I'm not going to ask you to develop a game. We're not here in a hackathon. We're here in a datathon. In a datathon, you analyze data. Now, everything you do in the game, you probably guess it's tracked, right? Every time you click something in the game, there's probably some tracking. Some people are saying, how many people went to level two? And in the game, how do you do it? You have to go from level to level with how many, do they call it clicks or what they call it? Within 22, yeah. right? If you, if you go with less, more than 22 steps, you fail, right? You don't complete. If you do it in less than 22, then you're passing. And this is all tracked. And when they track your behavior on the app, they call digital analytics or app analytics. What we're doing today, we're gonna give you data of this app. And not just what you used or what you played or everyone in the world. Well, how did they play the game? How many went to level two? How many failed? How many succeeded? How many retried? Till how the data You're gonna see it inside a tool called Google Analytics Workshop. Google has many tools. One of them is Google Analytics. Google Analytics does tracking for digital. Oops, 
that's not Mike. Okay. <laughs> so digital um, uh, platforms. So if you have a website, you probably have Google. If you go on any website in the world, there's probably Google Analytics on it, tracking what you do on the website. That's why Google does a lot of marketing because they track what happens on the website and then they can recommend you something. The same thing when you do on the app. A lot of the apps, they use Firebase or they call Google Analytics and Google Analytics tracks your behavior, what you do on this app and can tell then and do other recommendations. I'll show you some examples, but before we go there, I just want to introduce myself. I am Naylor Wayish, uh, Chief Data and Innovation Officer, the Gulf Bank. Anna Sarah in Gulf Bank. What I do at Gulf Bank, I run the data office, means everything data build bank analysis, data quality that we do it. And then we use data to find innovations. I worked uh, for 10 years for America. I was working with Google partners. Some of my clients, I found the clients that you know, Nespresso, L'Oreal, Blooming there. Uh, so I used to work on their websites and look at the analytics and the behavior on their website. Jazeera Airways, I worked with them a long time back. So the first website on Jazeera Airways, I was implementing it actually. And I worked on the payment fee. We worked on the online payment, the online behavior, and, and we looked at the website. I was also involved with Mawatani Airways, but I don't think you guys behave, recognize it. You're too young to do so. <laughs> anyway, Sara Barun, please introduce yourself. Yes, Sara Barun. I'm currently working at Gulf Bank as a digital experience specialist with May. I used to work with Shayek for five years. And what I used to do, I used to analyze data for mother care, H&M, Bath and Body Works, basically every e-commerce website you see uh, that belongs to Shaya, I used to work on that. And then I moved to Ali Abdul Wahab Lintawa, which own Intersport, Athlete's Foot, Sneaker, if you've heard of it. And I used to analyze their websites over there as well. Yeah, I think it would have one client, Sarah, I thought clients, Melody, <laughs> Okay, so Anna and Sarah Leon, we're going to tag team to help you work on the digital analytics track. If you're here and you're not in this track, please leave the room, maybe you're in the other room. But looking at your average age, I'm guessing everyone here is in the digital analytics track. So the digital analytics track, or we're going to use the GA4. So the Google Analytics 4, which we call GA4. When I say GA, yani Google Analytics. The flooded app is the game that we're going to use. Um, in the competition, once you get in the competition, which will be Saturday at 11, you start. So make sure on Saturday, you're at Shaheed Park, Gabal Sahdash. Make sure 10.30 maximum, you're there setting up, getting up a team. It, does everybody have a team? Did, uh, is everybody on Discord? Click on Discord. Come on. Everybody has a team? No? Okay. Click on the teams on Discord. So P channel is in the team formation, right? So you can look for the team formation. Okay, you found the team. If you don't have a team, this is your time. Look at the people around you, network with them, make sure you have a team. If you still didn't find a team, use Discord to network with other people and make sure you have a team before we start the competition. Now, the competition, is, like I said, is going to start at 11. So 11 is the just look on the channel. List of the Basically, there is about 60, uh, around 45 or 50. Yeah. yeah, 45, 50 questions that you have six hours to solve. So think of it like a marathon, but it's a data marathon. That's why we call it the data phone, right? You're giving 45, 50 questions. You have six hours to solve them. Some of them are direct questions like how many users clicked on this? How many users did this? How many users connected from this country? And some of them are advanced questions mm -hmm. where we ask you to build a dashboard where we ask you to analyze, compare, and do stuff like that. Um, Google Analytics, I did. So then, Musabaka, or inside the competition, once we start, you get the question. The question are broken into level one, level two, level three. So each, each level has an A, B, C. You have to finish one level to unlock the other level. You can't answer a question from level two unless you've done level one. And once you go into level one, you start doing the questions, and then you'll see on the question sheet, there's something where it says, call a judge. Like every five, six questions, yeah, right? around every five, six questions. And that means what, Sara, when they have to call a judge? And whenever you get that line, it's a very red, uh, clear line. It says, call a judge, I guess, after every five or six questions. On the Discord uh, server you have, you can just uh, call any judge. Once any judge sees it, they will come to you. They will probably flag it with a thumbs up. Yeah. And then they'll come to you. They will... Uh, either pass or fail your answer. Yes, and once you pass, then you get a point. So there'd be like a big leaderboard and, and scoring points and everything. Now, sometimes you're stuck in a question. 
Don't let yourself, يعني don't get depressed. Oh, I can't do it. خلاص. No, no, no. There's another channel. It's not called a mentor. So me, Sara, Afnan. Afnan, she's from Coded Team. So Afnan will be there. Afnan, by the way, was the top finalist. Senator the topic for digital analytics. So as the previous winner in the datathon, now she's coming as a mentor. حتى سمر كانت انت انت في ال في المودلينج. So كانت finalist the Senator Lefatte. So the winners come back as mentors this year. But when you go onto the channel called Mentor, and you say, take the team name, Malcolm, and it will be broken into zones. Not it will be zone red, green, blue. So the mentor will know in which zone and what team number they'll come and help you. What's your, they're not going to give you the answer, but they're going to give you directions on how to find the answer. So make sure you call for a mentor, call for help. You're here to learn. And when you learn enough, you're going to win. And even if you don't win, you still learn. And that's the point. You're going to learn how to become an analyst. And like I said, you go through, go through the questions until you reach the final. The final phase usually is visualization. So you build a dashboard and we'll do it through two tools. Um, everybody tried the flooded game app. If not, try it. It's not part of your questions, but it's, a, it's an app you find on App Store. It's the app where we're analyzing the data of the app. Does anybody not know what data means? Give me an example of a data. Your grades. Your grade is data, correct? Bad. Any information, method, I'll tell you something. Your civil ID, your phone number, yes? Statistics, right? Now, if you're looking, what app do you use? Talbot. What kind of data points we track in Talbot, you think? Huh? How much money on each transaction amount? So the transaction amount is what we call revenue, right? What else? The store, which store? How about the, if I clicked, I did add to cart. They track me. Because I added to cart. That's a behavior. And they want to know if, uh, what's your name? Uh, they're like, okay, maybe he likes this, but he forgot or he got distracted. Or he didn't end up buying. Next day, they call him Saad. Do you want this? Because they know you added it to cart two days ago and you didn't buy it, right? That's how they know because they track your click on add to cart, on checkout, on buy, on even when you open a screen. They call this a view. You didn't add to cart, but you viewed it. So I know what you viewed, and I know what's add to cart. So you might view 20 products, but you only add to cart three products. Means out of those 20, those three are the most popular and people want them. صح? And then out of the three products you add to cart, only one, you pay out. You check, check out and pay. Then this is what we call the conversion. Means a result. Something happened. And what we call this is a funnel. But anyway. While we're doing this, we're going to go into a tool called Google Analytics. This is the Google Analytics tool. It shows you how many users are on the app, new users. New users means somebody who did not use the app before and is new to the app. He just downloaded and used it. Um, average engagement time. Engagement time is how much I'm actually on the app. I'm not like, the app is open from a cool telephone. No, that's not engaged. Engage, engage means the screen. I'm not on another app and it's running in the background. If the app is running in the background and I'm looking at another game or another thing, then it's not engagement time. Engagement time means I'm actively playing and doing something. So the average engagement time here for the product game, six minutes. So I'll have to have an six minutes to be um, Event counts, event could be anything. It could be click, view, ask the card, uh, pass level, fail, retry, all of these are called events. Um, we're gonna go through the tool in Shwaya uh, Shwaya. At the level three, when you finish level one and level two are mainly on Google Analytics, Level three is going to be something called Looker Studio. Looker Studio is when you build dashboard. You can put different things, you can put labels, you can put dates. It's like you're making your own view of the app. It might look hard, but believe me, it's much easier. Much, much easier than it looks like. And we'll go through it. So I want you to bookmark three links. If you have your phone or if you have your iPad, your computer, this is the, I mean, you forget about the game. This is, you download it from App Store. Energy Internet, analytics.google.com. Look at studio.google.com. These are the apps that or the websites that we'll go and we're gonna use while we are doing the training, while we're doing the competition. You'll be on those two. You'll start here and end up here. So the first one we're gonna go through is analytics.google.com and then we'll go through. Any questions? Let's look at online and don't questions. Oh, I like that. Search history in Netflix, of course, Zainab. Sah. Let's do that. Okay. So any questions before I start going into the app and going through a walkthrough? And as you open your 
Open your laptop now. Everybody has a Gmail. If you don't, it might be good. And when you log into this, you need a Gmail to log into them, right? They will ask you to create a, a Gmail account or a Google account. Okay, so I'm going to log in to the first one. And I have a link here. Sorry, I have a link here that um, I put here in the down here. I just want to mention a few things before we just uh, go into this. You're always looking for behaviors, trends of making business decisions. You're always trying not to just, okay, 50 users came in today on the app, so what? But when I say 50 users came in today, and yesterday there was only 35 users, then I'm increasing. So I'm looking for trends. Mother's a good best I'm seeing, okay, how does that compare to yesterday? And how would tomorrow be? Can I predict how much tomorrow? Or if I say 5,000 users were on the app yesterday and today only 2,000, but why? Maybe yesterday I had an ad for the app or I have some link on YouTube. Today my Phoenix so no trap. And this is what we're trying to behave here. We're trying to group users, segment them and analyze them. Um, I had this link here to have all the way down at the bottom, between slash GB demo. This will show you a website and I, I can share it on, this, on the channel. Everything will be shared on Discord, all these links. This is basically um, this, where Google tells you how to access the demo account because the, the account that we're using in the workshop, the account that we're using in the competition is the GA4 account of this game, the flooded app, and it's public. It's a demo account. All you have to do is go to Google uh, analytics at google.com, log in, and then you have to do here access the demo account. Now, everybody, if your computers are on, I want you to type in this, um, let me do how the, this, this URL, please. Can you type in this URL? I'm gonna make it larger. So type in this URL on your computer, and then I want you to click on access the demo account. So we can access the demo account of Google. I'm gonna walk around, see if anybody has access. Yeah, Everybody online, are you logged into this red URL? Because we're going to go through the demo now, but I want everybody logged in using their Google account, please. So we can go through the demo. I'm going to make it even bigger here. Let me see if there's questions here. I can hear a voice repeating twice. I think oh, we're done with that. Uh, Yasmin, do you still hear me repeating voices? The slides will be available, but honestly, there's not much on the slides. Um, it's more on the demos. Oh, okay. So I need to listen to Maybe place it in the chat to make it easier. Of course, that's a good idea. I will place it in the chat. Thank you. Oh, go ahead. Good. 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 
نعم يعني انا مطفي الصوت عندي ها؟ اتوقع عرفت اوكي Oh, there's YouTube here. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, Yasmin, we, we, we hope we fixed it. Thank you. And sorry, I just said we did that. So a bit. Yasmin, let me know if the voice is better now. This is the first URL. And I'm sending also the other URLs. And remember, when you log in, use a Google account. Okay, you want to go to this, you want to also go to this, um, bitly slash gb demo and then later we'll go through the looker studio the whole okay hello now if you go into the first url in the gb demo this is what you're going to see you're going to see something like this do you want to access the gb demo all of that good stuff click on the access the demo account here and it says if you go down there is Google Merchandise. I want the Flooded app. So follow along with me and go to the Flooded app. If you click on it, it will open Google Analytics for you and go to the Flooded. It might ask you to sign in, to log in. But in the end, after you sign in, log in and approve and say, okay, it's going to take you to the screen. So it's going to log on Google Analytics. It's going to show you some kind of uh, uh, different apps. Please online, give me a thumbs up if you're... Um, Seeing everything we see. This is the bitly. If anybody wants the bitly, this is the bitly. Online teams. How are you doing? Anybody got through to Google Analytics? Okay, let's do this. Once you go back to Google Analytics, we're gonna go back. You're gonna go some see something like this. The demo account, Hadahni. Once you go through the demo, scroll down where it says this flood it. You wanna click on flood it. Okay, it's still working. I'm on the same page. Okay, great. Working, working, working. Good. Yalla Noor, I can't access. Oh, okay. Uh, below 18. Maybe you need to create a new account, Yasser? Tamam. Yeah. Okay. Now, if I click on the Google Analytics Flooded app, I'm going to start seeing the Google Analytics home. So it takes a while to load. You're going to see something like this. This is basically what you're now in. You're in Google Analytics. You are looking at this. Now there is in the in the game, there is 235 users in the, and then you'll see the highest countries. Like the highest country is United States. There's India. Kuwait is busy. Usually Kuwait never shows up, by the way. But Kuwait, because we're playing here and we're doing this, so we are on the map because of everybody here. <laughs> now, once we did this, the analytics of the app itself, and I'm gonna go and show some of the reports here. نتكلم عنها كacquisition كreports. So if you look at the menu here, there's a menu on the left side. There's acquisition, retention, engagement. All of these names may be new to you. That's fine. Don't worry about it. We'll explain them and you'll learn the digital marketing language. So acquisition. Acquisition means marketing campaigns. How am I acquiring? You know what acquiring? Acquiring again. How do I acquire your customers? So when I'm at an acquisition, we're thinking about where did they come from? Did they come direct? Direct means somebody came in directly. And they actually went into uh, the app directly. Cross network, maybe they're sharing stuff. Mm -hmm. Like maybe a game, sorry, a collaboration with another game. So cross network. Organic search. Anybody wants to take a guess what's organic search? It's Google. not Google. Google search. Google search. Google search. Paid search. Sponsor. Sponsor. Yes, ad. 
that they pay the, that logic game paid for them to come in. And you can see here the faded search has 2.5k. Yeah, I need two and a half thousand users came through paid search. But which one has the most? If you look, 31k. Yeah, direct has the most users. So a lot of people just go directly and play with the game and download it. Referral, it's obvious. They probably have a link from Feather. Uh, organic video, how many videos that are showing and they show this and display. So um, all of that is the sources that they bring users to the app. Any questions? All good? Come on. Okay, good. Now, if I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna explain this name for red energy. Retention. What does the pain mean? The the Julia pain. Yes. To keep it right. So retention is usually looking at how many users come back to the app. Because usually some of you might open the app today and then never come back. You're not retained. The tension is looking at users coming back. Engagement means I'm actually actually playing. It's not like I open the app, but then no, I'm actually engaged and playing. Monetization, everybody wants to guess how much money you are making out of this app, right? Um, and we look at it. Life cycle and me, the same thing, but in that, this is the pure games reporting. This is the same thing, but looking at life cycle, like looking at the users coming back over months. If me, I'm looking at users, demographics is demographics, age, um, location, and things like this. Of course, this is available to Google only. Like if you go to other analytics platforms, they don't know much about your demographics. Why? Because when you're signed in in your Google account, your Gmail account, they have your age, your location, your hobbies, your interests. So they actually share them with, with their people who use Google accounts. Now, of course, they don't know your Misaad or your Firas or your this guy. They know your profile, but it's all anonymous. They never, never say your name or details like this. Um, tech, anybody wants to say yes? What should we track in tech? What do you think you track? Yes. Device. Uh, Operating system. Huh? Platforms. Software. Okay. Huh? IP address is not allowed to be tracked. It's considered kind of private information. Or, you know, it's a, but they track your location and the demographics. That's the closest thing. Now, where do you want to start? Monetization. online. Monetization. Monetize. Oh, you want to make money, huh? <laughs> okay. So we'll do monetization. And you'll be surprised. So right now, I want to make sure there's something to show you here. If you look up here, there's the dates. You see date? Here, I'm looking at the date between April 13th to 10th of May. 10th of May means I'm looking at the past month or the last 28 days. Now, and it says here, last 28 days. You are allowed to change the date, of course. And if you click here on the arrow, you say, I want to look at, for example, oops, let me move this. So I'm looking at the date here. I can change. I want to look at last week, this week, 30 days, 90 days. I can choose. It's very simple. You just choose the date rate and you add it. Of course, the longer dates, the longer it loads, shorter dates. Now, when you read the competition, make sure you read the question that asks what date. If the question asks about last week and you're punching last 28 days, you're going to have the wrong answer, right? So ensure you're looking at the right date that matches the question. Now, if I'm looking here at the last 28 days, how much money did they make last month? Oops, sorry. $28, $61. Right, that's it. They're not making too much money out of this app, huh? Because it's a demo app, they collect data, they make it for games, for trading and things. Um, the total ad revenue, what does that mean, ad revenue? The, yes, exactly. They made it from ads on the app and doom revenue. Now, also what we can look at is total purchases. Yeah, and it has $161. It came from just 13 purchases. And there's first-time purchasers. And this is what we're saying when we look at you know, retention. Are they first time? Are they returning purchases? This is when we're looking at them. Um, I can look at here, how many transactions per purchaser? So usually people do more than one transaction. You know, when I play and maybe I, the first thing in the game, what, did anybody buy anything in the game or try to buy something? Because you can buy, I think, to remove ads. Yeah. And sorry? Extra steps. Okay, yes, yes. And the average revenue, the average transaction is about two and sixty-seven. Now, and if there's something like you don't know what it is, this RPU, if you just hover here, Google's gonna tell you what is this. 
For example, I, ARPPU is the average revenue per paying user. So how much money do I make on average on people who buy stuff? So, and you look here at the trends. So at some days here, zero dollars, or if I'm looking at transactions. So if I click on transactions or on revenue, the chart will change showing me all the, the stuff. Now, everybody who's have this computer, go to monetization and tell me how much money did we make in February? And I'm going to take answers also online. Put them in the chat. And for the people online. You can put it on the chat, not on Zoom. I'm not going to have Discord, mashallah. <laughs> okay, so Hussein is saying $38.74. Yasmin is saying the same thing. Better $138. Okay, I said in February, huh? Let's go and try. If you have a job yet? Hmm? So what I'm going to do here is go here and go to February. And I click February 1st to February 28th. And I click apply to change the date. Right? So go here. And $38.74, Yasmin, Mohanad, you're right, Zaina, Shatreen. Now, I'm going to look at, at more details on this. So sometimes I can look at it even somewhere else. I'll show you. If I go to acquisition, so I'm looking at the channels now. Remember, acquisition is about marketing and channels. And I look at, for example, user acquisition. And if you notice, I'm still in February. It doesn't change the date until you go click. So even if you go to other reports, the date will stick. So the date is always sticking. Now, I'm here looking at the channels, still in February. Direct is still users. But then I'm here looking at how much direct is bringing me. If I scroll all the way to the left here, to the right, then I see that all of the money, almost all of the money is coming through direct channel. So whatever, when I did paid search, organic search, the really channels that don't make me a lot of money, right? So if you were thinking of doing some paid search, are we making any money when I'm making ads? Are we making any money back? Yeah. Two cents, that's it. Not much, huh? If I'm, if I'm paying um, a marketing website to make me referrals, it's not bringing me any money, right? The money is really coming through the direct users. Probably these are the loyal users that come back and play again and again, and they play over. So you can look under monetization, but you can look at dollars at anywhere. So if, I, so for example, if I am in demographics, oops, if I am in demographics, and also I wanna see how much monetization for a basic demographic. So I'm just going to look here at countries, right? And I'll go down here. So it's telling me all the countries that are coming from um, people in Google Analytics. So you see United States has the highest, followed by India, Bangladesh, and so on. Now, this is February. I'm going to go for yesterday and today. But you look at when it started. Last week? <laughs> last seven days? Hot last seven days. نشوف طلعتونا على الماب لا خلينا نحط متى today today I'm gonna apply and still sometimes the data for the same day won't show up until next day usually they don't have real time data unless you are on the paid Google account okay I'm looking at yesterday لا والله كويت كلش مو بين على الخريطة let me search then if I'm good I really want to see how many people came from Kuwait then I can go here and search I can type Kuwait and I can search how many people came from Kuwait. Well, there's eight people. So probably eight data owners were here. If you look, um, they spent an average of two minutes. Two minutes on the app, engage. Let's say they did only four events. Do you think they made any money? No, no. Probably not. Data owners. <laughs> okay, so these eight people came from Kuwait on this date. And I can also compare sometimes. So if I click here and I say, I wanna compare, I click on compare here and I can say, I wanna compare, for example, March, sorry, March 1st, March 31st, compare it to April 1st, 
to um, sorry, April 1st to April 30th. So I'm comparing month to month, basically. This tells me, and if you look here, so it tells me Kuwait in March, there were a total of 80 users. In April, 154 users. So we almost doubled. And I'm, I bet you, because we announced the data fund in April, and that's when people have actually started playing the game. Make sense? Let's look at the engagement rate. Did it change? Not much. They're basically the same engagement. Yeah, the time you're going to do the app, not change. But so about the time, kind of one minute, almost two minutes, it's then again two minutes, and it tells you here how much lower or higher it is. So there is almost forty-eight percent higher. Uh, kill, kill metric Now, one thing that I want to explain about Google Analytics is what we call metrics versus dimensions. Anybody wants to take a guess at what dimension or what the metric? I'm going to show a report. Let's go into which one do you want? Choose one. Who wants to choose one? No, I think you chose monetization, huh? Anybody else? Engagement. engagement. Let's do engagement. So I'm going to look at the engagement overall. Uh, engagement. So when I'm looking at engagement, honestly, I'm mainly looking at metrics because when I look at engagement, I'm going to view one of these reports here, Matana. Event name versus event count. So this event name is what kind of event? And I'll make it bigger for the people in the back and people online. So here I'm looking at event name. And here I'm comparing two months to each other. Oops, that's a bit too big. Okay. So what they're saying here is screen view is how many people viewed the screen. Just once you load the screen, an event will be out of trigger. It's called screen view right away. User engagement is how many people are actually actively engaged. Let us start quick play. Anybody when they did the game, they did the quick play? No, no. Yeah. So when you started the quick play, that's what they showed. They actually saw start quick play and event is triggered. Manata, uh, um, Saad, he started quick play. And then, uh, she's right. Yusuf, he started the quick play and then he ended. And if you see, 415,000 people started quick play. How much ended? 228. Select content, sometimes when you click on something, they call it a content. Post score, because if you have a score, you can post it. Right? Once you post your score, you trigger an event. So the event name, what we call is a dimension. A dimension is like a property or super. Yani your name is a dimension. Your age is a metric, because sometimes it changes, right? You keep going up, right? Your height is also a metric, but your family name, yes? Have a dimension, have a dimension, have all metrics. So the event count is a metric. The event name is a dimension, right? I'm going to show another one and let's see, try to see if we can guess the dimensions from the metrics. Let's go into tech details here. And usually metrics guessed are what? Numbers or, or words? Numbers, of course. And here, for example, I'm looking and I'm just going to remove the comparison. I'm just going to go into last 90 days. So, خلاص. apply. Any questions online? You guys are quiet. Okay. So, um, tech. So, I don't want to compare, remove the comparison. So, I'm going to have to turn off the compare by clicking here to turn off the compare and say, I'm just looking at data now for the last 90 days. So, if I'm looking at the browser, most of the browsers are not set. Do you want to guess why? Minal app, from Afi browser, صح? If I'm going to go to overview me, minal tech, مثلا, and I'm going to look at different platforms. Most people on mobile. Most people on mobile, exactly. Listen, people on web here. Who do you think is the winner? Android or iOS? Android. Big time, right? Maybe this is the only place where Android is actually higher than iOS, right? And look at the users, like right time, the last minute, there's 250 users. Of course, most of them are Android. Best died in iOS. I think this is live. This is not what's happening right now in the last 30 minutes. This is what's happening in the last 90 days. So in the last 90 days, if you see, the iOS is 5% and Android is 8%. Well, how about in the last 30 minutes? Tell me the Android there is that. iOS. Do you think, do you know why iOS is much higher now? Do you want to guess? Yeah. Like in the last 30 minutes? Yeah. Because of this? Because of the software? But what's happening right now? Why not get additional equipment, right? With that, and could iOS, my own Android, so that's why we're making a peak in iOS. We're breaking the curve. 
But usually, Android is always the big winner. Now, I can go into view platforms here. I go to view platforms, عشان أشوف details on the platform. I'm gonna see the trend, and this trend shows me nine, uh, the last three months, from a March to April to May. And I'm seeing the Android نفس الشيء حوالي 150,000 هني الويب والمال. أهلاً عليكم السلام تفضل. في أماكن ورا في في. نعم. هيا هيا. تفك راسي عادي. تفضل. Okay. Uh, so Noor is asking a question. When you point to a screen, we don't. Oh, sorry. Thank you, Noor. I'll do that. So I'm going to do it on the mouse here. So the trends here are showing May, April, May. This is I'm seeing the trend. And if I scroll down and I'm on the tech details. Now, Android, you're saying that it has the most users. Android. Let's see if they make money. Because I know Firas is all about money. Where does the money come from? Yes. iOS. Why? They, they are the lowest user, but they bring the, all of the money. So you can see the disparity here in the certain demographics. Like now, if they come and tell you, I want to do a marketing campaign and I want people to pay buying something on the app. We're going to do it on the app, Apple Store or on the Google Play? Apple Store. On the Apple Store, right? Because they're the free And that's what we're saying. When you are an analyst, when you are a digital analyst looking at the data, you can tell marketing, do this. Don't do that. That's the whole point here. When we're seeing here, we're going to the analyst can help the business spend the money in the right way. Okay, great. So now as a user, I can say, well, I need to know because I want to put ads in certain countries or something. So I go to demographics here. And um, and I hope I'm not giving away a lot. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay, so I'm looking here. Most of the countries, India, United States, so they're almost equal if you see here. Um, and I can click here, I'm trying to show you countries. So also it's giving me the trend of the top five. And there's like, there's an unweird weird peak here on February 15. Like since then it went all down. Maybe they had a marketing campaign or some apps here. We can actually look and see in the marketing. Now, when I'm looking at the countries, same thing, engage session. Now, which country the people spend the most time on the app, if I'm looking? I can look, but the best way to do it is look at here. Average engagement, engage fee, time, method, and I think there is time. We can, oh, we probably, if you want to look at time, I would go into engagement and maybe go into overview. Maybe time spent. So average engagement, engage session per user, average engagement time here. So if I'm looking at the average engagement time, people usually spend around eight minutes in the app. If I want to build something specific, we're going to show you now, Lucas Studio, how to build the time per country. Give me another two questions that you're interested now. After you saw some country, money, up. So basically, after Nasir from America or India, who are the money spenders? IOS, IOS. IOS. But we don't know which country yet. Do you know which IOS and which country? We don't know. US, US, You say US, you wait. US, US, US. Okay. US, do you think? Oh, okay. no, we have to find out. Now, we can only think. And estimate and have a couple of training, but always the data always tell me the right source. Go back with the data, the data diamond, much at the <laughs> unless you draw it wrong. So when I'm gonna what I'm gonna do, this is one question. So we want to know the country, which country had the highest uh, dollars plus which country spent the most time? Bad. Any other questions? عشان خشوا حق الحين لما نروح حق Looker Studio. Yes. Returning users, hello, which I'm going to find here. Okay, bad. Yes, just much. Leanne. Now, which screens? And we can look at screens. And these sections in the app, they call them pages or screen. The reason they say pages or and screens, because usually, there is websites. In website, there is pages because it's called a web page. In app, it's called screen. So right now, we're looking at an app. So we're mainly looking at screen. So these are the different screens in the app. If I'm looking at them, there is the game board. There is the game over. 
ثاني واحده جيم اوفر اللي يلعبون كلهم خسرانين. There is some some kind of root controller. So probably the guy who developed this app would know main menu, shop menu, you know. And I'm looking at all the screen and how many times they were actually loaded right here. So I can see how many loaded. And then I can see the engagement time. So how many times الناس قاعدة على السكرين. الحين it is loaded by the number of views. So if I'm looking here, it's it's right? So it's going down على views. Now if I want to look the lowest screen, I can flip the same up. So this I don't know what kind of screens, Google API, mob browser. These are getting like almost zero hits. Um, but if I go a bit at time, so I'm gonna click by the time here. I'm gonna instead of short it by view, I'm gonna click على time to sort it by time. Okay, so where is average engagement time? Oh, uh, come on. So if I click here, so I see, wow, people spend about one hour on this root view controller. And what this tells you, probably it's of some screen running in the background for the whole, that is not going. But if I'm looking mainly the game board, people spend seven minutes on the game board gaming. Extra steps, people spend around two minutes in doing extra steps. How can we compare countries? How can we know mobile users? Okay. Good questions. And now we're going to jump in five minutes. Now. Yes. Okay. And then, um, show a game over. Well, like you're doing one, one minute, I'll game over. I cry about it, probably. <laughs> right? Ahlan, Luqman, how are you? Good? Okay. So shop menu, settings, and everything. Now I'm gonna do one more things about, let's say conversions or let's do some traffic. I'm trying to find something that is related to what they said. Maybe go on the app stack details or today. Firebase. Hey, Firebase. Okay, Firebase, the hatch, you know. Oh, you need. So sometimes, remember, in this competition, you are the digital analyst. What's a digital analyst? Someone who analyzes digital data. Exactly, exactly. So you're an analyst who analyzes digital data. So how do you have a You have to where do you make money? Where do you want to make, where do you want to do the campaign? So you told them, go make it for us. Now, if we look here, I'm looking at countries. No, I want to go. So something called Firebase. What is Firebase? Firebase, anybody heard of it? Yes, tell me. So this was in book that. Mm, Firebase database, no. Developers, yeah. So Firebase is a platform to develop apps. And there's the Firebase analytics, which start with this. You know, if you have Firebase, you can under the app developer. So the app developer, he's going to ask you some questions. Maybe you look, as the digital analyst, um, I need to have some feedback about should uh, what's how much is coming from uh, you know which app? Then I have an iOS app or I Android app, right? So he want to know about the caches. Look here. So Android, well, uh, iOS zero caches, and it, it tracks because every time there's a crash, it tracks it, and we see it here. Android has a you know no actually this is not caches. Look at this. What? Exactly, crash free user. So there's a hundred percent crash free user, 99.8 percent crash free user, and this is what we're trying to track here. Um, let's see app versions, and I'm going to look here at different app versions to see and then look at an, in every oh, yes, but the <laughs> Yes. Or sometimes a developer can develop it in different platforms, but install a Firebase library on the app. What they do is sometimes you can do stuff with Firebase, like mobile notifications, analytics, and things like this. Um, how can we compare countries? I'm sorry, but we can't hear you. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm back next to the mic online. Now, look here, I'm looking at what? App versions. So here, the app versions are If you look at it, they're all numbers. Can you make any sense out of them? Which one is iOS? Which one is Android? No. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Ah, you're guessing based on the number? That's a guess. 
اي واحد اندرويد يعني هذا 25k و 24k 80k اندرويد ديفينتلي اندرويد اوكي ذاتس ا جود جيس بس اتس ا جود جيس بس نوت ا هارد انسر اور ا هارد تروث وات اي كان دو هير از اي كان اد انذر متريك لوك هير اي كان كليك اون ذا بلس اي كان اد ون مور متريك اند كول ات نيم ات مثلا اوبريتنج سيستم رايت So now I'm looking at, you see here, there is how many dimensions in this table now? How many dimensions? Two. Two. What are the dimensions? Version. Version or system, Mumtaz. Dimensions need properties. These are the dimensions. And you might play it as dimensions, right? Who is me? And I'm back from my day. What, how many metrics are we looking at here? Five. Five metrics. I'm looking at users, new users, engaged session, engagement rate, and so on, right? Do you also want to look at money, Firaz? Yalla, insudim. But I can, I only want to look at versions of iOS. How am I going to do that? Anybody wants to guess? Uh, I want only to look at the versions of iOS. Android is flattering me because I want to mine. So it's built up. Mumkin, yeah, I can sort by operating system, but the easiest way I can do this here. But So I can click here under search and say, Mithran iOS. I'm not sure. I think it will search on the app version. Yep, there. Now I'm looking only at iOS, you know, and I can filter and look, and look just iOS. Anybody has questions on this? Oh, and Sarah, can you help from Hamad in the back? Any other questions? Uh, also go around to see if they're looking at this. And now I want you, whoever has this computer on, to tell me which iOS version has the most users. Uh, the one yeah, in March. So if you March, which iOS version can be extra users? So the first thing we're gonna do, we go here and roh ala March. Here and go apply. صح أول شيء أغير التاريخ. I look at March and then I already I'm already filtered by iOS, so that's good. So I'm gonna go and go back here and look at users. I filter it like this. صح شو اسمك بها. So بها. What's your answer? Exactly. So what I did is I sorted by the, okay, Hussein, tamam. Hussein, Shumali. Okay, so I did, I filtered by iOS. And then I sorted by users on this arrow where my mouse is. So now when I filtered, then I'm looking, sorry, I, I uh, ordered them by users. So now I'm looking at highest to lowest and the highest is iOS version 2.6.62. Any questions? Everybody's on the screen. Anybody is lost? And the uh, okay. So I am Okay, great. All good? Okay. Now, let's do one more. 
Any questions online? How do I search for things again? So when you want to search, you go here. You see there is search right here. So you type whatever you're searching for. For example, I'm searching for two point. I want to look for old version. So I look 2.5 here, and then I click enter. And now it's only showing me apps with 2.5 version. But all the searches is here. And you only search dimensions. You never search metrics. You can't search metrics. You only search dimensions. Okay. Is everybody good on Google Analytics? Can we go to Looker Studio? Online people, because I want to answer the questions you had قبل شوية على Looker Studio. Huh? Tamam? Actually, I want to do one more thing on Google Analytics before we leave here. There is something احنا سوينا الحين كل شيء تحت reports. Be something called Explore. Explore is mini Looker Studio, but it helps you look at certain things that you're building. So sometimes you want to build like just a, a report to the idea. And like I said, this, you go into the menu, you go to explore and you see it. Now, free form, funnel exploration, path exploration. Funnel, what Somebody joined the app, then click add to cart. So we can have the app, right? 500 people coming in, only 200 people start the level. And then maybe 50 people end the level. That's called a funnel because you start at high level and then drop off at each end. And that's what we call the funnel. Path exploration, this is a cool one also. This is to show you the path. Where do people do on the app? When they start, I don't know where, where do they end up? And you use by using the screen name because the screen name can tell you where it is or looking at the event, what happened in the event. So if you look here, this is showing you the path. Now, starting with, everybody start with session start. Session means you just started the app. Start a session means like a visit. Now you visited the app. Here, the first thing they did, the event is called screen view, of course. And then I can see what's the next step. Add impression. I can look here. I should win. So when I go next step. Now I'm only interested in people, method um, uh, buying stuff or something. So I can click here on event name and I can either change it or I can filter it. That little pen. Right now it's starting all of this. Let's say I want to see how many people. Um, Use extra steps. So I want to draw a path, right? So first somebody did, um, the first one is level start, or I'm going to say here, and I can search. Oops, no, not here. Um, so here in the event name, I can see what's going on. I can say, I'm going to start. I'm going to start. Session start. Level start. I only want to see level start. After and start and then it's going to now load it to see how much people so after screen view let's start and i click on see what happens next if i click it will see show you the next step after start quick play we'll go to complete 1700 start only 237 complete other people do reset so 99 percent. and this is kind of path a flow People start here, they go here. I mean, quick play, this is where they come. There's a people who fail. So there is 99 who do reset, 97. I want to also see how many people, I don't want the failures. I don't want the fail. I don't want Kether. I want to look at the people who, um, what is it called? You buy steps or something? Um, use, extra use extra steps, right? So now it's going to refilter it. And sometimes these reports do clear. So only out of the 2,000, only two US extra steps. 11 failed or did something. And this is where you draw a path. We might ask you in the, in the competition to draw a certain path and you draw this using the event names because you have to learn the event names. Start and extra steps. Any questions? Yes, Ms. Uh, the competition, the, can we take like notes about uh, like yeah, this data is public, this data is yours. When you have everybody, make sure you have a Google account. Bachelor is your orientation four to five. You can attend it in uh, Shaheed or online. So make sure you have a Google account. Make sure your team has a Google account and start something Google Docs. Anybody use Google Docs? It's like Word document, but on the web and share it with your friends. This way, everybody can put their input and write their notes there, so you and your team can see the same notes. Make sense? Any questions? Okay, so any questions on the path? Uh, 
احد عنده سؤال ساره افنان هني and Sarah Afnan will be there on, on Saturday too. Ma'ay, Saadouni. You will ask them if they want to repeat, but I don't think it's going to be so hard. Okay. Stage for oh, okay. Let's let's draw a new path. Or let's try another report. For example, uh, what was under the Explore? Uh, I can do a funnel. Yeah. So, Mir, who's always interested in funnels? People who are looking for conversions. People who are saying, I want to look at how many people if an ad brings 5,000 people, how many people actually end up and buy at the end? This is called a funnel. So any funnel means there's a drop off at each step. You know when you fill out the form, when you fill the registration form from the end on, how many steps was it? Do you remember? Four, five, something like that. That's a funnel. A lot of people maybe drop at step two, step three. Sometimes the last step is always a bigger job. So how many people who completed the funnel, we call them a conversion. So this is called funnel. This is called standard funnel. Let me look here. Okay. Trended funnel, standard funnel. And sometimes these reports are finicky. Sometimes you just got to refresh and add the model. Now, if I go to funnel, and in the funnel, you put your steps one by one to actually uh, do that. Sometimes you have to define it. All right, let me show you, let me show the funnels that they have in place already. Let's see if this is a funnel, 4th of May. Maybe I did this, did this before. Oh, this is actually a path explanation. Let me see your questions. How did you place another, how did you place another event? Oh. Let me answer Ali question, Ali Diab. When you are here, if you want to place another event, you click here on this. This click and shows you all of the events. So if I'm going to show you here, this is a path. So when I say a path, I mean people in the back who just came. When I say a path, you start that session, you go to quick play, you go into here. And every time there's a drop off too in the path, right? When I started quick, how many people started the quick play? About 5,000 started in your moon. Some had completed. Eight. Eight only. So I don't think they were very bright players or they were playing. I don't know. How many failed? How many did they reset? And then sometimes you want to filter. You want to look at certain events, certain things. So every time, like Ali, I hope that answers your question. How did you place another event? Um, if you click here, for example, I want to go to end play. I click on end play. If I click on it, then I can see after eight people who ended play, how many posted? Eight. Eight out of eight. A hundred percent. طبعاً ما هو خلص مستانس أكيد بيسوي post score صح. And this is where you say this is the conversion rate. They call it a hundred percent. You know, a hundred percent conversion rate because there's eight and eight versus. Uh, 5,000 with me almost, and eight. What's the conversion rate for completing after starting? How do you calculate it? Eight over 5,000. And this is what they call the conversion rate. So sometimes a lot of these apps calculate the conversion by itself. Okay, are we ready to jump into Looker Studio? Okay, let's go now to lookerstudio.google.com. Looker Studio, I'm going to show the slide. So right now, I want you to go into this. Please. Lookerstudio.google.com. You probably missed my question. Wael, what's your question? Sorry. Yes, so Wael, your question, merging tech and demographics, this is what we're going to answer now for Google, Google uh, Looker Studio. So whenever you're mixing a lot of dimensions and things, you cannot use the pre-built reports for Google Analytics, you come to Looker Studio. Looker Studio is a studio. It's like you make your own thing. You're the design. You make the reports. The in analytics, the report has a min Google. And you're just looking at it. Looker Studio, you're the artist. And when you are making dashboards in Looker Studio, I'm going to show some of uh, what they have here at templates. So you can look at templates by Google. Um, this is like a Google merchandise store. Okay. So. 
So like I said, here, there's no reports, there's nothing. You start with a blank screen. You build up these, you put the square here, you put the logo here. It's like working with, I don't know, Photoshop, ala Word, ala whatever. And you choose the dates. You are in full control. Whenever you do something like this, you are in full control of this. You can say, I want bar chart here, but I want a line chart here. And this is all your choice. So it's easy to customize. Any questions? Anybody wants to start doing this? Let's do it. Now, one thing that one part of being a digital analyst, being an analyst, you have to make your data tell a story. You have to make your data readable. If the chart is one, 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 now, let's dig in and start our own dashboard. Everybody's on Looker Studio. If you can take a look, Sarah. And if not, make sure we have people all on Looker Studio. Everybody's in. Anybody who's not on Looker Studio? Um, huh? um, hey, we'll start at blank. So when you go on Looker Studio, this is just a sample. And this is actually from Google Merchandise Store. So you go into Looker Studio. And there is what they say here, blank report. Click on blank report. To start your new reports. Questions? All good? Okay, now, whenever you keep a report, you're going to put with where do I get the data, right? You're not going to get the data. It's one data. So you have to tell my data could become from Looker, some other, from Google Analytics, from Google Ads, Google Sheets. You can connect Google uh, Looker Studio into so many. Even if you have a sheet, you can add it. So you can use it not just for this. You can use it for doing a homework dashboard. You put their stuff on Google Sheet, which is like Excel. Now, of course, where are we getting the data from? Exactly, right here, Google Analytics. And when I click on Google Analytics, it's going to see the account that I have on my account. Now, what I have here, I have my GovBank account, but not those. I want to actually go into the demo account, Lihomal, the Flaudit app. So I go into Flaudit here. And I click on flood it. You see here, online people following me. Okay, good. So I click on flood it, and then I go into add. That means I am adding a data source. So this is the source of data where I am bringing my Looker Studio. Um, here. And you can add multiple data sources, but right now we only have this data source. And it says the report editor charts, uh, and you can add, okay. And the, the thing here, we have to always think metrics and what's the other word for? Dimensions. Dimensions. Okay, good job. You know what's the price for this, right? 500 KD. But I have another price too. Battery will have us. Oh, you battery into battery. We have another 100 KD, like the next Googlers. So it's if you if you if your team doesn't get the highest points, but you show really cool stuff on your dashboard, like googly stuff, then you get a prize regardless of your score, which is we're gonna select as we work with you, the mentors or judges. Your points more, but you showed something that nobody else showed you. And then we'll say you're the next Googler and we give you a hundred KD. Yes. That's the last two questions, or I think five, I don't know. But usually at the beginning, they're simple. So as you progress from level one to level two to level three, it gets harder. And you can guess that the dashboards are the last level. Now, um, yes, the, the top three teams from each track, three scores, it's own presentations. And based on the presentation, you show like probably in the presentation, you show your dashboards, obviously. Only yes. But remember, you're here to win or learn. Did you see the bookmarks on your books? I'm sorry, online people. You didn't get books or bookmarks because you didn't come here. Yes, there's bookmarks that says win or learn. You can't lose. So you can't really lose in this competition. You're winning because you're learning. Now, let's build something. 
So remember, like I told you, oh, my already had one actually one report, Adi, and I can play around with it. This is my studio. I can move it. I can make it bigger. I can make it smaller. I can make it wider. I can go into style here, and when I use style, I can change the color, change the font, um, whatever I want. Like I want to make the font larger. Then I make it chilly. Hug the header. So it's like you're designing this dashboard. But first, I want to make the dashboard has a title. So what I can do is go here and I say, um, and it's just text. And I say, this is my coolest dashboard. Okay. Then I can make it bold. I can change the font size. I can do whatever I want here. If you want to bring a, a logo, مثلاً, about the game. I can go here. Um, عجبني هذا مثلاً أقول plotted game, right? And I go into images. I want to take this, right? So I can either save the image or I can probably copy paste it. Let me try if I do paste. No, paste doesn't work. So what you can do is in the image. Let's say I save this image here on my download. Um. And I save plotted game picture, and I can go here, and I do add the picture, upload it from my computer, and hatahni, because make sure in your 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 dashboard has some pictures, has some cool things. It's not just a dry looking dashboard. So you could do this, and you can say, you know what? I'm actually I don't like my coolest dashboard, so. Um, dashboard that helps you make money, okay? Because if we're, if we're saying that this is going to help us, like who Firas said, and this is going to be the, you know, the and, and, um, yeah. the end. And then mungkin, ibni hadil events, bas abi ahat alheen chart. So I can go add a chart, and then I can do the type of the chart. There is totals, there is geo, for example, let's do the geo here. And online, if you have any questions, let me know. I can put the geo here. Now, the first thing when I put any chart, it's gonna ask you for dimensions. Khudr diamond dimensions. Is zirg of my metrics. So here it's looking by country. And I can choose probably other than country. Mumkin city, maybe, I don't know, town city, if it's gonna go. And then if I'm gonna say only a certain country, let's say I just want America, because I saw America has a lot of it. So I can add a filter here. And I say add filter. In my add filter, I can say include country and it's only equal to me. And usually it should help me. Sometimes it shows me sometimes United States. So right now in the map, it's only gonna show me country United States. And because I added a filter. So if you look here, it's only gonna show me and it's gonna show me the city. I can, and of course, this is one of the ugliest charts because <laughs> it doesn't look nice. It doesn't have the colors. It's not nice. Let me delete it. I'm just going to click on it and click delete. And I'm going to add another chart here. Um, let's say, what kind of chart, Tabun? When we are making dashboard, should we only make a blank one? Um, you can use templates, Yasin, but I don't think there is any GA4 templates out there. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't see any, but uh, you're you're free to find some. But of course, you have to answer our questions. <laughs> okay, let's do, um, I want to compare visitors to purchases using this, right? So, event names, um, no, we want to do um, visitors. That would be, uh, I'm going to say, Let's say countries again. So what was your question? He said, um, I forgot what was his question. I don't even know how to, to, to scroll down with this. Okay. Um, Tamer, repeat your question. What was it? Okay. And finally. So he says, how many iOS users who are in the US merging tech and demographics. Okay, these are two dimensions. And I'm gonna do one and then we'll go to your questions. So I'm looking here by country, but I want to do two things. I wanna see how many users from uh, USA, total users versus new users. 
Mania Gold, new users. Oops, new user. So I'm comparing two metrics together. And because the data, what's the date here like? Um, so right now we're still in the design, huh? What I can do is I can view it. This is how the dashboard looks like. This is a view version. So it's showing me 11 things that they loaded, the games, the dash, the, the trucks. And you can see there's United, there's Saudi Arabia, Vietnam, and so on. Now, because I'm showing a lot of countries, the chart is really small and it's so hard to look. I only want to look at the top five, right? So I can, let me go into the edit mode. So you click here on edit and you click here. And what I can do is say, method and default date range, default data range. So I can do custom. Uh, this is for the date. Now I want to filter to like top five, maybe line chart filter. So maybe country filter. Let's say, let's say actually let's do a city with that country. And you method hot city. Town or city, and they call it sometimes region, is it called? Maybe it's region, right? So if I look at region and switch country, country equals United States, and this is the filter. Let's see what I see right now. So right now I'm looking at all the regions and let me make the font larger, Shoya. Um, minor font, Tehni. Okay, so if I am here, right now, am I looking at the whole world or no? Anybody wants to guess? I'm looking at the United States and the names here, which I'm trying to see how we can make them larger, Shwaya. Yeah? Um, I'm only seeing just the United States. And here, you can say, I want to show the access title. Ashani, show me the region state. This is the track high school. Yes, yes, yes. So we can change colors here. We can change everything that we want. We can change the font size, font shekel. So right now, this is showing me the actual states because I did a filter. Online, did you see the filter? Arafat Shansa will filter? Okay, can everybody do a chart and do a filter for um, India? Because India was the next, صح? was the very high country. We show all the cities in India. Let's do it. And online as well, tell me. When we're making a dashboard, should be on the... Okay. While we're working on the other question. So right now, me... So always, 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 when you're looking at the data, sometimes you have to browse or try different dimensions. The dimension has a country more And because they track it, it has a general country. Um, if you look, you have events. Now over the five, the top five, up to 42. But I can make it bigger. I can make it, I can change the details. Um, and I want to do unshuffled tables. Set up here. Okay. Um, everybody did the India country, good. Okay, now we'll do one more table. I'm gonna take this table. And I remember um, he said, what was the question? How can we know iOS users who are in the US, right? So I'm gonna do iOS, the event name. It was the uh, operating system. So I'm looking at operating systems. And then he said, in the US. So you want to know them by state, mungkin, or I can go here and filter. I say, how many iOS users? And I can add a filter and say, and if it's one metric, if you want just one metric, I'll show it to you how to state. But if I say one metric, I say we add a chart and I just want one metric. That metric is 
total of iOS users inside the United States. So I have all users, right? Total users. And then I just do some filters here. My filters, I will do the country filter. The country filter already, I'm so weak. I can edit it right here. And I'm going to also add another filter. And I'm going to call the creative filter and name it iOS users only. This filter, I'm including operating system here. Operating system. Google equals to, or it can be contain, uh, whatever, regular expression, iOS. So I'm going to save and look and for 4,300. This is the number that you're asking for. Um, how can we compare countries? Yeah, we can compare countries. Now I'm going to show you uh, when we're making a dashboard. Okay, that should ask, that should answer the question. Look at the filters that I added. Now I'm looking at total users and I can change the label here, by the way. If I go into style, I probably can change the label because currently it's saying just total. You can label it instead of total to say something else. And that will be your, your problem to solve. Um, okay, now let's do any. We wanted Android users, but I also want Android and another version that is not tech. So I can say Android and um, age, age. So right now I'm looking, oh, let me show you So, and I'm going to make this larger, looking at the top 10. So right now, and then, I need, I should be Do you see, oh, I asked Android, age is unknown. What does it mean, age unknown? Yeah, they, they don't use it. That, yes, there's some people who either come in anonymous or people who uh, are not logged in in their Google account. They're not logged in, Google doesn't know about your age. It knows about your location, how? Huh? Yeah, yeah. IP address? Mm -hmm. But they don't track their ideas, they don't keep track of it, but they can know the country. Or the app store next sometimes from the currency. Now, questions? Now, here, I want to, does the owner look good on my charts? What do you think? If you are giving this to the market, you are an analyst and you're giving this. But you like a community or HTML, you're from unknown. Does that help? Yeah. No. So what can we do in this chart? If it's not helpful, we don't want to include it, and we can do a filter. Anybody wants to guess how to do the filter? Yes, tell me. Walk me through it. I'm not going to do it. You're going to show me. So when I Hmm? Yeah. Can I go to We scroll down. Add a filter, right? What would my filter be? I use country filter, iOS. What should I do? No. No, I said I don't want these unknowns to show. How can I filter that? Okay. Exclude. Exclude. Okay. Exclude. Yalla. Mashi maak. Shismik. Amr. Muhammad. Create a filter. Hello. Yalla. Lahu sorry. Create a filter, and it exclude. When you should active. Equal to unknown. Is field? Yeah, huh? age. age, age you, uh, you have to choose the dimension and you exclude a certain dimension. That's how it is. So age, sorry, age, oops, I can't spell today. Age equal to unknown. So right now, filters include. This filter is exclude. I don't want the unknowns and I call this filter uh, remove unknown age okay and i go ahead and save it okay now i'm looking at my report it's nicely formatted am i looking at anything that's uh, unknown stuff hello any questions we have five ten minutes for questions yes i'm sorry uh, well, we're going to make this saturday inshallah in Okay. We will go. Oh, she's Is recorded. Uh, no, it's recorded.
recorded and you it is on youtube i think is session yes it is recording yes i think i think it is recording how you can find what is this the session recording it on youtube so we share it on the channel it's on the channel so i can share all of this yeah, but honestly, what I explained is all available online. Google it, Google it, and you can explain it. Explain it well. But if you're in the orientation, you can either come and check in and do it, or you can do it online. It's going to be recorded also in orientation, but I can help on the channel. Orientation, talking about the uh, um, levels. Talking about uh, how to call a mentor, how to call a judge, all the stuff, all everything you need to record that. على the channel. كل راح يصير على Discord. بعد أسئلة. Yes. يعني Thank you. 
If you get the question wrong, so Yasin, if you get the question wrong, you never, never lose the points. Basically, the judge will tell you, re-fix the question and, and, and call me again. The way we, we you, uh, you answer five questions, you call the judge. The judge will say, you have all these four right, but these two are wrong. Fix them and call me again. So you never pass to the next level until all questions are right. I hope that answers your question. Yeah. 
I love seats. It's just not good. All good. Yeah, thank you. Inshallah, we got a full house. Yeah, the lady. Oh, okay. And they were asking for the kind of like, is this recorded? They want the link. It's on YouTube. It's going to be Mumtaz. Mumtaz. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing that. Yes, <laughs> All right, I think we're going to close the session and we're going to send another link for the data visualization uh, Zoom session. And it's also going to be streamed on YouTube. All right. See you all.